Okay, time to wrap it up. Now, uh, sorry about the flashlight spot. I just wanted to point out some things and make sure you guys visually actually see what's going on. Now, as you can see, bright orange knuckles, I'm running Reed Racing Knuckles. <clears throat> with a high steer system, it gets your tolerances a lot tighter. Uh, with a JK, your tolerances get ridiculous already as it is. Where you can see my RAM mounted is pretty much it for uh, mounting a JK. I could have reversed the mounting and I could have had my welded mount on the diff cover and run the RAM the other way, but I like my mount coming off the track bar mount. It makes it nice and solid. Everything's all nice and clean. Uh, over here on this end, of course, I have my Poly Performance tube clamp that goes on Poly Performance Chromoly tie rod. The areas that you need to really pay attention to <clears throat> is this right here, where you're making your solid welded on mount. Uh, right here you have your drag link. Now, once you're, when your passenger side flexes up, your drag link is going to want to become parallel to your tie rod. So this area right in between here is going to get really tight. Now, with mine fully flexed, I have just nice clearance right around the mounting bolt. And actually, once I cut off that extra crap of bolt on the top, I'll have even more clearance. The other thing you want to pay attention to is mounting your hydraulic lines. If you notice, they're angled slightly back. Actually, they're angled in between the, uh, the drag link and the track bar. What this does is it allows them to be clearance because if you run them straight back, they're going to hit on the axle. And if you run them straight up, the drag link is going to tag them when you turn. The other option besides angling them, or in addition to angling them, is get some 90 degree fittings. And by 90 degree fittings, I mean actually go out and spend the money on AN uh, air equipped lines with a 90 degree turn, or go to a hydraulic shop and have them make 90 degree turn tube bends, not running a 90 degree adapter. Those 90 degree adapters uh, induce cavitation. And when they induce cavitation, they also induce heat and it's very bad for a steering system. While you're at it, you might as well go and install a power steering cooler in the return line. Now, I already have one installed, but it's not complete yet because I'm actually going to run a fan on it with some ducting. Uh, and when that's done, I'll either do another video or I'll do a write-up of itself. Uh, this is pretty much it. Uh, as you can see, the only hard part is doing the welding. The rest of the plumbing is all simple plumbing and connecting the lines. So, uh, if you guys got any questions, please feel free to ask in the thread, and also please visit jkowners.com, uh, read our reviews, come visit our tech forums, and hopefully we'll help you out. And you guys have a good night.